All right, so let us look at coin piles. The key points mentioned in the problem is we will be given with two piles, left pile and right pile, which contains A and B coins respectively. So here is a diagram, diagram representation. We have left pile, this is left pile and this is right pile and each contains A number of coins and B number of coins. Here as an example A is, A is 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is 1, 2, 3. So the next key point is on each move we can either remove one coin from the right pile and two coins from the right pile. So we can remove one from here and two from here or or two coins from the left pile, two coins from the left pile and one coin from the right pile. So we need to keep on doing this until we have emptied the, the piles. So that is our task only. We need to efficiently find out if we can empty both the piles. If we are able to do then we will print yes and if not then no. Okay so here is an example. In the first example A is 2 that means left pile contain two number of coins and right piles contain one number of coin. So let's see can we remove this. We, I start by removing two coins from the left pile. So I have removed two coins and one coin then I, I have to remove one coin from the right pile. So yeah emptied. So yeah that's why we have print yes. In the next example, A is given 2 and B is given 2. That means left contains 2 and right contains 2. So I start by removing 2 coins from here. Then I have to remove 1 coin from the right pile. Alright. So here we have left out 1 coin. And now there are there is no move. We can move further. If I try to remove this, then there is no coil in this stock. And in each move, I have to remove one from here and two from here or one from here, two from here. So we can't remove two from here. That's why the answer is no. We haven't, we were not able to empty the piles. As a last example, three, three is given. So I start by removing two coins from the left pile and one coin from the right pile. Now I remove two coins from the right, right pile and one coin from the we left pile. So we have emptied completely and that's why we will print yes. Okay so before that let, let us look at the goal again. So our goal is to empty a number of coins from left pile and B number of coins from right pile. This we need to do. So I will say that from pile A we are going to take x number of times 2 coins from here and and x number of times x number of times 1 coin from pile B. So here is pile B and I will say I will take x number of times 1 coin from pile B. And this we need to do simultaneously. Remember, we, if these are piles here, A and B. So you have to do, if you are taking two from here, then you need to take one from here. That's what I have written. And the other one will be, if I take, okay, now I have to take, now the left condition is, if I am going to take Y number of times, one coin from pile A, and here also 
now you have you taken out one so you are going to take two number of coins from pile b but that to be y times that's what taking y number of times coin one from pile a and from pile b we are taking y number of times coin two coins from pile b so now we have these two equation and we have two variables and if i solve this simultaneously these two equations we will have this and this is an important result if the numerator is a multiple of 3 that means we are finishing it off and that to x and y both if they are x and y both are multiple of 3 that means we are finishing it off and this this has to be a positive multiple not a negative multiple remember we are taking positive number of times the coins two from here one from here or one from here or two from here so if we are able to do so then we are going to we will we will be able to empty the piles in other words, let me explain with an example. Mm, let's say, let's pick uh, a no, uh, no one. So two two. So here is two, and b is two. So if I put in these equations, which uh, so x will be two two is a four minus two divided by three, and y will be. 2 to the 4 minus 2 divided by 3. So this will be 2 by 3. So this is a fraction and that means you were not able to do it in integral number of times that was 2 and 1 or 1 and 2 because both you are getting this. Now let's say if if I take a and b as a as 4 and b as 2 so this will be so if i put 4 to the 8 8 minus 2 so this will be 8 8 minus 2 is 6 by 3 that means this will be 2 and for y this will be 4 and 2b so 2 to the 4 minus 4 a is 4 so 4 minus 4 that will be 0 by 3 and this will be 0 so that means you were able to finish the coins in integral number of times and if i fit in this equation it is going to also be so x was x we got 2 so 2 to the 4 and y is 0 so this will 0 and x is here 2 and y is 0 and a was 4 and b was also 2 so we are able to satisfy these equation both side so this equation basically tells that if this is an int positive integral multiple positive integral multiple of 3 then we we will be able to finish off these piles so let us code this and let us see so the first input contains the t the number of test cases and then we need to uh, each test cases contains a and b and uh, the test case and a and b uh, is integer can be supported so we can use in no need to go for in long long so we'll say in test cases in scam cases and we'll say test cases 
until it becomes zero test cases become zero we need to perform some queries and let's get this from user seeing test cases and now we need to get to a and b we will define it here only a is 0 b is 0 then we will say c in b and now i need to just write this condition what are them first of all if it is a positive integral multiple of 3 that means there is no remainder left so i can say that 2 into a minus b mod 3 is equal equal 0 and it has to be positive integral so that means this has to be greater than 0 so i can save this also this has to be greater than or equal to 0 and also even this condition has to be fulfilled this y condition so we'll say and and 2 into b minus a mod 3 equal equal 0 and even this has to be greater than 0 greater than equal to 0 if these two condition uh, if all these condition are fulfilled then we can say yeah it is possible so see how yes yes and we can leave a blank if not else see out we'll say no and leave a blank so this is was the code let us just submit this submit mm, like that all right so it's accepted